गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम टू द मॉर्निंग क्वेश्चन जी नमस्ते सभी को नमस्ते गुड मॉर्निंग एंड वेलकम वी आर टॉकिंग ऑफ यू एच बी थ्री एंड यस टूडे वी कम्पलीटेड विद लेक्चर सेवनटीन वेर वी वर लुकिंग एट द एक्सप्रेशन ऑफ द को एग्जिस्टेंस इन द फॉर्म ऑफ द फोर ऑर्डर्स इन नेचर so with that we had also uh, given a self reflection task and assignment to reflect on which is to look at our own as a human being our innateness and our natural characteristic or our participation and what we can see so whether it be whether it be in our participation with other human beings or with the relationship with the body or with physical facility what kind of feelings are naturally acceptable to you those are the feelings you know whatever is naturally acceptable to you for this you have not done anything that's how it is that is your innateness part of your innateness your self organization so that whenever you have feelings that are in line with the natural acceptance you feel calm you feel comfortable and whenever you have feelings not in line with the natural acceptance you are disturbed you are in conflict this is part of your innateness your self organization for which you have not done any thing the coexistence it is also an expression of the coexistence in the human order so with this reflection the important question we were asking was in all of these what is naturally acceptable which feeling is naturally acceptable and are we in line with that feeling or not now this is not a question to be taken very casually you may find that there are times when you are in line and there are times when you are not because there are times when we are aware when we can see our feeling and we can see we are this causes discomfort so we try to ensure for those moments at least the feeling within us but until and unless we do this 100% of the time every moment we cannot have happiness and continuity so this is not something that you can um, conclude about right away that yes my behavior is in line because 100% of the time is what we are looking for so nothing less will do for us that is also part of our self organization that we want that happiness in continuity 100% of the time every moment so nothing less will do so this is an ongoing exercise perhaps you can take this exercise and put it up in a place where you can see it um maybe you know say on the fridge or when you wake up or if you have a notice board on that or somewhere where you will notice it and you will question it or you will question yourself and you will check within yourself more or less like a reminder for the work of self exploration that we were doing earlier so if there are any thoughts on this maybe a couple of reflections we'll take and then we'll move on to the next lecture namaste sabhi ko uh, yes today uh, for the many days i was not able to explore many so much 
but yesterday i was able to i reflect on this uh, my relationship with the other human being mm-hmm. so for 2 3 days i was observing uh, this thing actually that how i am what feelings i am having for the people around me so i used to think you know for the past few days that okay i am now having this naturally acceptable feelings but what i observed in the last 2 3 days is that when the other is not behaving a certain way for a moment i go into opposition like for example someone was talking to a junior very rudely yesterday and i was there i could i was there to uh, see this for a moment i was you know in opposition to the one who was talking rudely mhm i was not in a relationship with that person and i had other type of feeling for the one who was being to whom he was talking to rudely so yes. but then immediately i realized that i am going into opposition into this person so why maybe this person is disturbed or anything may be there but then i could see that i was going into opposition so which which was not naturally acceptable so this i observed and regarding this point number 2 also didi i want to share that someone uh, i know who is taking care of uh, his body too much so yes i know that uh, we should take care of the body it is important for us but somewhere i noticed that my feeling also was not in line with the natural acceptable feeling for that person also whom i could observe that he is taking care of his body too much mm-hmm. i had this feeling in me that why why are you caring so much for the body it is temporary and all those things came to my mind and a little bit of opposition i could feel that i am not thinking so good about that person so but one thing that i am happy is that the moment this opposition feeling of opposition is there i am aware and mm-hmm. i can see my feelings now that okay this is going wrong this is not naturally acceptable mm-hmm. this is what i observed observed in the last 2 3 days with myself mm-hmm. my feelings and how i am how my you know, feelings are changing mm-hmm. i am not involved in any of these cases Hmm. i am just seeing from outside i am the other person but just yes. by seeing i can see that how my feelings are changing they go in a in opposition for a moment but then i realize that oh this is not naturally acceptable and then i have this change of feeling this is what i would like to share with you very nice yes. it's interesting how we you know like you said it has nothing to do with us yes. still we pass judgment inside yes so, yes didi we pass judgment on this one that one that one we may have nothing to do with them and yet we keep creating unhappiness for ourselves and we are not doing anything about it either lot of the time we are unhappy we pass judgment on the other we have feeling of opposition and unlike you where you are taking note we may continue with that feeling of opposition and then we may pass that judgment for all people say of that community or that kind of you know um background or whatever and this is how we form sanskars deep deep sanskars for instance if you see somebody talking rudely and you also note that they seem to not have very good education now you may link the two and pass judgment that people who are not well educated they tend to be um, rude to others now this becomes a an a preconditioning in us so now even if you see somebody who is not talking rudely you associate the two and you pass judgment can you see yes 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 baby it and, is there and all the time 
it has nothing to do with us we are not helping anybody we are not interacting really with anyone and yet we keep becoming unhappy uncomfortable <laughs> yes so i observed this in the last two days that i have nothing to do with these people i am talking about yes but still just by seeing just by observing them my feelings are changing so yeah. so this is important work this should go on all the time only then can we be sure that we can check ourselves properly no yes, otherwise yes. we keep flowing in that without yes, many times yeah many times i think i am not aware Mm-hmm. But now the percentage of time that I am aware is more as compared to earlier. Yes, so this mm-hmm. is going on, but it's not hundred percent. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that it's will not be that I am always. Yeah, I am not always aware, but yes, most of the times I am aware, and most mm-hmm. of the times I am, you know, I am aware after that moment has passed. Mm-hmm. Then I realize that oh, this is something. that is not a naturally acceptable i should not have done this mm-hmm. there mm, also yes. it's very significant to note this and then to note what is naturally acceptable perhaps yes. you can um you know visualize what could have been your behavior with the other person what could have been your feeling for the other person and then mm. next time around when it happens perhaps you will be able to catch it earlier than that Yes. Yes. Nice. Very nice. Yeah. Thank you, Vidhi. Thank you. Several hands are raised, but uh, I think we'll just take one more observation or question, and then we'll move on to chapter eighteen, which is more or less. Vidhi, namaste, Vidhi. Sabiko, namaste. Namaste. Vidhi, yesterday I had a bitter experience. So yesterday, I decided that today morning I have to share my experience. Really, things are going fine for all these years. Yesterday, for a family function, my sister, husband, brother-in-law came for a discussion. Day. And to carry out that function, he was saying that we have to prove our status, so we have to spend like this. And he was saying, but I was uh, against it right from the beginning when the topic was started. No, no, let us uh, go with the function in a moderate way. Let us not uh, show our status. Form etc. Like that, I was saying. Then my husband was depending on my brother-in-law to carry out the activities of that function. So though he was also not liking to spend lavishly, he kept quiet. So yesterday again the discussion came, and I lost my control. I reacted. <laughs> I shouted, <laughs> and it took an ugly turn also. i started referring the past pointing to my husband no 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 he is always not giving due respect he was always not giving my opinion suggestion like that and all it took an ugly turn and my brother in law walked out of home and my husband started to scold me so it was a bad scene yesterday and i was a total disharmony mm-hmm. the problem now is where to begin with where i am missing where i am lagging it is just a question of awareness see what happens is like we were just talking about our sanskar our preconditioning some things mean more to us seem more important to us some things seem less important the less important ones we are able to get over or when we are very aware we are able to get over but at times when we lose awareness that we have to be careful because then our deep rooted sanskars are back and they drive our feeling and before we know it we are in that feeling and we have gone further 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 with the thought with the expectation with the behavior and out you know so this we have to check we have to become aware it is just about the practice 
would mean practice more um, practice on awareness at more moments so perhaps you can put reminders for yourself see we were you may notice like you very often mentioned your feelings for your spouse say yeah there are lots of opposition yeah. between i strongly agree even with my brother in law also there are yeah. different of opinion i do have opposition yes we need to work on ourselves just think of it like very strong sanskars no they will take some time to drop off but i need to be aware even if i can manage to you know to begin with it will be that perhaps it will not come up to the behavior mm. that you can see the opposition within yourself in the beginning it is you know with the behavior and everything but still at least even after the fact if you notice it you become aware then and you visualize what was naturally acceptable how your behavior could have been in the situation then at least next time around you might be able to become aware faster even with strong sanskar so that is the whole journey that's why it is not something that we can expect to happen right away this is why what i was saying no yesterday when you were asking about being able to experience the coexistence and all of those we mm. have to develop our competence it will take time mm. we have to accept that because this is part of the unfolding of the coexistence in us also mm. so we will slowly develop our competence if we have not reached the point of contemplation where we can 100% of the time see our relationship with others then obviously our competence is at a lower level the more subtle things it will be difficult to see so we have to go step by step and that's okay i mean at least we can see that you know we are becoming aware earlier there was no question of awareness and we were just living life and we thought that was the way mm-hmm. now at least we are able to see what we can do how we can have the right feeling and many a time you have shared also mm-hmm. but occasionally it will crop up the deeper sanskars the the things that we give more significance to more importance to they just take over and again they start driving your feeling but that can change if we were aware it would change so we lost awareness so we need to be aware that's why we say every moment every moment otherwise such accidents will happen every now and then yeah didi any anything specific i am lagging didi i am held up with something like that anything more you want to add to my behavior didi oh, i would just say awareness awareness earlier and earlier that means awareness every moment that is what is lacking mm-hmm. because many a times you have shared that you have experienced the calm you have been able to have the right feeling with awareness mm-hmm. but when there is lack of awareness awareness meaning you are looking from the point of pure observer when you slip from there you are back into the b2 block and the ego and that starts dominating and this mm-hmm. is what is happening so again we have to become aware we have to start looking from the higher point then we see that these are all just differences of opinion my relationship is more important than the difference in opinion and perhaps we can come to a 
middle ground mm. if we had with the right feeling we may have had some discussion but because mm. there is feeling of opposition no discussion is possible it becomes an argument and then it's over now you have to work a little more to mm. try to get back to that you know within you you can sort of get back to the feeling of relationship but then you also have to express that feeling of relationship to the others and get back to that state of relationship so that you know they can also feel assured of your behavior but it will take time because when such things happen now the other also has mistrust no mm -hmm. because they feel that this is, this person is indefinite one moment they are like this another moment they are like something else their behavior is not consistent mm -hmm. so now whatever we say they may not be ready and willing to listen to even if we say with feeling of relationship mm -hmm. it will take some time but we have to be consistent in our effort couple more hands are raised but like I said uh, we'll start with the lecture 18 we are having similar um, topic there also so we'll come back to the questions in a bit we can go to lecture 18 yes nice so in lecture 18 we are talking of the expression of coexistence as the innateness and natural characteristics in the four orders so here you may find some repetition but uh, since this is an important topic we're spending some time on it so um, this chart we are all familiar with i won't go through the whole details again because we've been doing this this is a diagram of the entire existence of how all the units are submerged in space and how we can classify the units for ease of study for ease of understanding into four orders physical order bio order animal order and human order in the units there are material and consciousness units and when the consciousness unit associates with an animal body we call it animal border animal order when the consciousness associates with the human body we call it human order so while in the physical and the bio order things are cyclic things are composed they get decomposed they break down go back so that cycle you can see of composition decomposition formation deformation in the case of the consciousness units particularly if you see in the human order we have the potential to know that changes things so we can move out of the cyclic repetitive cycles of the mind where we keep going back and forth back and forth with um, past reflections anxieties of the future and so on we can move up to becoming aware of or awakening to the higher activities within us and this part is non-cyclic this is real development once you start on this path now whatever you are awakened to that doesn't fall back to nothing you rebuild from there 
till you get to the highest activity on the activity of realization that would mean what we refer to as activity completeness and with that activity completeness that is still not the job is still not done with that you may understand you may reach up to realization but then you need to bring all your lower activities in line with this this pattern that you can see when you look at the coexistence so you have to live with that not only understand everything but now live with it live with all the units seeing your relationship having the right feeling for each and every unit and doing your participation playing your part in this existence so living in coexistence along with the other units that would be conduct completeness definite human conduct so these two things are the work that we need to do and you can see how everything else in the existence is already in order it is just we who are not quite clear about where we need to reach so when we don't have the right purpose in view when we don't have the understanding of the coexistence in view we may make all kinds of programs have all kinds of agendas which may be not in line and then ultimately we suffer the consequences we feel unhappy but that possibility that potential that is there in all of us so we have to move towards that development which is non cyclic next slide so we said that every unit of any of the four orders it has five aspects the form the property the natural characteristic the innateness and the coexistence the form and property keeps changing and you can see lot of variety so the same form doesn't stay whether it be a plant whether it be a human being you know, the body you can see that it keeps changing from birth from you know the initial form to as it grows the form keeps changing and ultimately decay and death of the form so this the same fruit may have a different impact if we eat it in the morning have a different impact if we eat it in the evening properties changed same fruit same person properties changed and so on but if you look at what is deeper than this what is definite what is unchanging what is universal what is continuous then we are able to see these other characteristics the natural characteristic that is the participation of every unit in nature with every other unit in a definite manner the innateness the self organization in every unit and the coexistence this we have been saying right so the natural characteristic the innateness for all these units it's definite it doesn't keep changing so this is the essence what we see most of the time we limit ourselves to the form and sometimes to the property but we need to see beyond that we need to see this whole um the part that is definite the part that is 
continuous, the part that is unchanging, that also we must be able to see. And that is significant. This definite, these characteristics, no? the natural characteristic, the innateness, the coexistence, this is all expression of this coexistence and it continues to be in the same manner. So you can say that the coexistence is expressing itself in the form of this innateness and natural characteristic in every unit of nature. Next slide. So again, this is the same diagram of the chart of the four orders that we looked at before. And we will specifically look at the self now, since we have already talked about this at length. Because that's where we need to work. Everything else is already in order. We just need to understand. And we have been through this chart several times. So only if there are questions, we'll take the questions. Otherwise, we'll continue to keep going. So here you see that this expression of coexistence, if we look at the consciousness unit, there also you can see the expression, the unfolding of the coexistence. Starting from the self of the animal, where the self is only awakened to largely to selecting tasting and is totally identified with the body. So therefore, it's giving importance to the sense organs of the body and is working with selecting tasting. And because it is identified with the body so strongly, it also has this will to live. Will to live as the body. It assumes itself to be the body. But as the self evolves further, it takes on the association with the human body. And now there is something more in this self. There is this need to know need to understand. This you can see in any child, we've mentioned this before. Small child, you see how they ask questions. Their questions don't seem to end. They want to know about everything. Even if you talk of the sky, why is it like that? They want to know about the sky also. They want to know about everything possible. So we do have this innate need to know. This is part of our innateness, part of our self-organization. This need to know, need to be happy, need to look at something beyond the body. But the confusion is because we start with that total identification with the body like in the animal order we saw. But on the other hand, we have this need to know and this need for continuous happiness. Now the two are in conflict, therefore the confusion. So this confusion can be broken down, this confusion can be abolished or, you know, we can go past it. When we start looking or identifying with the, our natural acceptance, when we do that, we are slowly awakening to the higher activities as we keep doing the exploration. Because as we keep bringing our feelings in line with the natural acceptance, we notice the calm within. And we can see that for us, this is more desirable than the earlier state of agitation. We feel much more comfortable in this state. 
and with this when we notice this and we notice that with the right feeling i am comfortable i am happy now i see a different perspective and as i keep working with this slowly i awaken to the higher and higher activities within me so that i can ensure my feeling at all times be in line with the natural acceptance at all times next slide yeah so you can see for all the units being in this coexistence there is activity in the units all the units are energized being in coexistence in space they seem to have the energy therefore they are active this is true of physical order this is true of bio order this is true of animal order this is true of human being human order and not just the body you can see it in the self also that we have the energy so that we keep like for the self we can see the imagination is constantly going on we seem to have the energy for this we haven't done anything for it but it is there by virtue of the coexistence by virtue of just being in coexistence in space next slide if you look at the innateness the self organization there also you see that every single unit in this existence no matter which order you look at it is self organized it has a certain innateness it is in a particular order and this is definite even in the human being of course the bio order when we look at the bio order then we can understand the human body and the animal body also having similar innateness similar kind of uh, well defined natural characteristic and all of those but if you look at the self here is the problem although we have this innateness in us that this self organization that we feel unhappy if we don't have the right feeling or let's look at the positive that we feel happy when we have the right feeling but when we don't see that we ourselves are creating confusion for ourselves because we are choosing to have feelings of opposition feelings of jealousy hatred and so on from time to time because we don't understand we don't see that everything in this coexistence is moving in a particular direction and i am also you know organized in a way that i have no choice but to move in that direction but till i see it i keep making the wrong choices and then i suffer the consequences but the good thing is that the provision has been made by the coexistence this provision for me is that i am able to see my own imagination how am i able to see that this has been you know this is through the coexistence because there is space even within me therefore i can see from a distance my thoughts my imagination from the point of view of pure observer i have been provided with this natural acceptance i haven't done anything for it but it is there all i have to do is refer to it and be in line with that so that potential is there 
I need to do that so that I can be truly self-organized with definite conduct and be one with the other units in existence. Right now, I am the only one or the human being, the human self is the only one which is creating disturbance or is not part of that definiteness in the picture. So we need to do that. Next. Can we go to the next one? Yeah. Similarly, if you look at the natural characteristic, the participation of every unit with every other unit in this existence, you find that every unit is participating with every other unit in a very def well-defined, definite manner. But here also, it is only the human self where you find that this is not happening. And being what we would call the most evolved, we have been given the choice, but we are making many wrong choices also. Some right choices also, some wrong choices also. But if we see our relationship with every other unit, if we recognize this relationship, then we can fulfill this relationship with every other unit in space. How to recognize the unit? Same thing. Same work that we have been doing. Refer to the natural acceptance. That is the guide. That is something that we have been provided with. With the help of the coexistence, this provision is there in us. We just need to keep referring to it and come in line. Next slide. Yes. So ultimately, you can open up this slide fully. Ultimately, this work, if we keep doing, not only can we be happy in continuity every moment with the right understanding, with the right feeling, right thought, with the right behavior with everybody else, but we can be a source of, you can say, transmission of this knowledge to the next generation through human education and sanskar. So it is possible to awaken to these higher activities with the right proposals, if those proposals are given to, you know, at least they are made available to everybody across the board. Because every human being wants to know, has a need to know. So if we can see that, and we can play our part, our role, our participation in this and help in this process, make effort in this process, then this can become, this possibility can become a reality. That this um, understanding can become a reality for every human being for generations to come, generation after generation, through this cycle of human education and sanskar being carried forward so that it becomes a tradition. Yes. So, with this, if there is any question so far, we'll take it up. What is the difference between space and natural acceptance? There's a um, question in the chat. So if you see what we are saying is, in this existence, we said there are units and the units are submerged in space. So units is one type of reality. Space is another type of reality. 
the units we may be able to see at least the material units we are able to see we see the form we can see this through the gross eyes in the units there are consciousness units these are more subtle we may not be able to see them through the gross eyes but if we look within we can see the activities that are going on in them so with that we can identify them the consciousness unit i can see that i exist because i can see the activities within myself if you look at the space right now we may not have the competence the reality that is and this is the basis with which this whole coexistence is thriving the coexistence is itself you know the what it means itself is that there are units and there is space and the two are coexisting so space is one reality very subtle we may not be able to directly see it right now because we need to develop the competence but eventually this is our purpose that we want to be able to see the coexistence and in that coexistence we want to be able to see directly these units that are submerged in space so that space is the subtlest reality that we have to directly experience at some point now what is the natural acceptance if you remember we said that the space is transparent it is all pervading there is no place where space is not so it is there around the units it is there inside the units it is above it is below it is everywhere no place will you find where there is no space it is there just that we may not be able to see it right now being transparent every unit is reflecting on to every other unit just being in space so within me as a unit as a consciousness unit within me this entire coexistence is reflecting in me and that is the the natural acceptance therefore it is the same in each and every human being so you can say that you know space is a very subtle the subtlest reality which exists and in that there are units i am a consciousness unit in me when this entire coexistence reflects in me i see it within myself and this is what we are calling the natural acceptance i hope that clarifies it in every other order we used cyclic but for human order linear development can you make it clear please i think i already made it clear um the development in the self going from the b2 to the b1 block that is linear once you awaken to the higher activities within the b1 block you don't fall back to zero you you build from there generation after generation meaning from one generation to the next but uh, cyclic and um, linear development if it's not clear maybe you can raise your hand and ask the question uh, uh, regarding the reflection of study assignment ma'am uh, in the yeah it can be relationship brief. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, uh, nowadays i i am not ready to give the guidance to anybody because uh, 
I understood that uh, most of the things I uh, uh, things I understood with my assumptions and the preconditions. But earlier I was uh, not giving the guidance with my experience. Yeah, that yeah. Would be yeah. Called understanding. That would be lack of understanding. Lack of understanding. Yeah, that yes. changes I notice, ma'am. That is the reflection mm -hmm. I want to share in that. Yeah. But you will find that there is always somebody who knows less than you. Mm -hmm. You can write those. Mm -hmm. Isn't it? Mm -hmm. See, mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. right now also, what are we doing? The volunteering that we are doing. No? Mm -hmm. Many mm -hmm. people are volunteering in the various activities. They haven't reached the point of completeness mm -hmm. of right understanding. They haven't reached realization. But they mm. notice that they can participate in many ways in helping for those who have less, even less understanding than them. Isn't it? Mm -hmm. yeah. So it's like you're climbing a mountain. Mm -hmm. You have you haven't reached the top. But from wherever you are, you can put your hand out and help the one who is below you and help them come up to your level and move forward. Ultimately, we all have to reach the top. Can you see that? Yeah. yeah. So from wherever you are, whatever place you are at, two things we need to do. On the one hand, work within to try to awaken to the higher activities. So keep the self-exploration going because if we don't do that, then we are not able to move forward. So that yeah. part has to go on within, but at the same time to be able to see our participation outside because outside also everybody needs to have this understanding. This is a need of every human being. So whatever I can do in my participation, I do that. No? Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. you can see even in the volunteer program right now, Mm. Everybody doesn't have to volunteer in all the same things. Mm. Whoever has a particular skill, they mm -hmm. opt for something in that domain, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Depending on the amount of time available to us in our day-to-day -day activities, mm. we give the availability of time and we say that, you know, there's always like when there is a workshop, then there is something. In the groups, you will see all this, you know, who please give your availability for these, 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 these sessions. And somebody mm -hmm. will say, I am only available on such days. Somebody will say, I am available from such and such to such and such and so on. And therefore, mm -hmm. these tasks are taken care of by all the volunteers. Isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So each, each volunteer, what they are doing is mm -hmm. very significant. It's a very important role they are playing. Nothing is insignificant or small. As you can see, that is how the pattern is even in this existence. From the smallest insects to the largest units. Each unit is playing its part. And each unit is important. The other day we talked of bees. If bees were not there, the whole ecosystem might collapse. Such a yeah. tiny thing, isn't it? But it is yeah. playing its part and it has a significant role. So similarly, each and every volunteer has a very significant role. Nothing should be underestimated or under-evaluated. It is an important role. Ultimately, we are working for that um, being in coexistence, for all units to be in coexistence for all human beings to have this understanding. So we, you know, those big goals of universal human order, undivided society, all of that, world family, what we call, they may seem like big goals, but eventually every volunteer is a small link in that whole chain, which is moving all the way up to there. 
so don't consider it insignificant don't consider yourself incapable of doing that yeah yeah thank you हेलो दीदी यस नमस्ते मैं अदर फ्रेंड्स दीदी आई आई वांट टू आस्क वन क्वेश्चन दैट व्हिच इज साइक्लिक एंड नॉट साइक्लिक सो दैट सेल्फ इफ वी आर हैविंग से डे बाय डे सर्टेन राइट अंडरस्टैंडिंग और लाइक दैट इन दैट वे व्हेन सेल्फ इज गेटिंग इंप्रूव्ड सो व्हाई इट कैन नॉट गो विद दैट सेल्फ विद मी एक्चुअली इन द नेक्स्ट से बर्थ और लाइक दैट so it is written not cyclic didi ek bar we just we just ask to open that slide it is there on this slide only it was there no acha nahi earlier slide yeah ha cyclic and non cyclic if you can ha ha cyclic not 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 cyclic yeah i understood your question ha 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 look at ha no and in this you can see na development can be linear and not cyclic ha ah, correct what i suggest is we go to the diagram of the self so from hmm. where we were at that slice if you go to the next slide can you move to the uh, no no um from where we were we move forward to the next slide hmm Sir, personally, further move forward. No, no, no. Go to the next. Go to where we were. Next, next. Can you go to the next one? we haven't talked about it yet ha huh. this one so here you can see a chart of the self with the activities in the self ha right? correct what is being said is that so long as you you are thinking about things you know you are with the lower activities selecting this ha thing activities what we are referring to as the b2 block here things are not cyclic you tend to fall hmm. back acha ha ah, ha that is correct ha ah, yes. because right now you think about it it seems to work but again next moment you are not aware again not aware correct correct nah? but as you awaken to the higher activities yeah that is the b1 block activities the yeah. contemplation uh -huh. the understanding the realization Ah. Once you reach there, correct. Then it becomes linear. Hmm. There is no falling back. Yeah. But that means we have understood. We have awakened. We have understood. We have been able to ensure. Ah. Huh. At every moment, then it doesn't huh. fall. Back. Yes. Then, yes. even if you, if the self, you know, uh, when the body dies, and the self has to. come back it will still continue with that ha so the that things i, I wanted to i i am saying that uh, so it should also go with my with me means with self if i am yeah. in, in this does. bar for example it does ha 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 so See, then why we, we don't remember things is because we don't think they are important for us yeah isn't it like if you asking this if i ask you 10 years back what you ate for breakfast you don't remember uh -huh. because it's not important every day you are having breakfast correct what is significance you forget about it mm -hmm. but on a particular day you had many relatives come many things happened you know you had a very good time you were able to meet all your relatives it was a very special occasion that you may recall ha ah, correct because in you you have given significance to that ah, you yes. consider it important 
so you are able to recall it what you don't consider important you forget yeah. so when we go from you know one body to the next to the next to the next it's huh. good only that we are forgetting most of the things because imagine the confusion we would have Achha. if we if we remembered everything isn't it hmm. Hmm. so it's good only hmm. but there are some things which like a conclusion hmm. like a what we call sanskar ha yes that is all that that this is how things are we have assumed it to be true that strong assumption can continue acha so that but, is how but, when we say but, you know ajam friend didi if is based on then natural acceptance with right understanding right feeling means by working much by exploring much so then it cannot go uh, to my next birth with that self with the self go that then right samskar or not didi yeah we we already have many samskars when we are yeah. say when this in this birth when you are born from hmm. birth from very early childhood you can see some of the samskars ha, they have not correct. developed in this birth they are there from before yeah ha they could be the right samskars they could be the wrong samskars ha they yeah. could be samskars which are in line with the natural acceptance natural they could accept. be samskars that are not in line with natural acceptance isn't it ha so the sanskars are carrying forward ha did it so that's why i am asking that that sanskar yeah uh, ganesh bhai yeah. the right sanskar if sorry. we can uh, yeah. get in this bar that will go ganesh bhai yeah. namaste ha i'm Achha, sorry ha time ta time drop in fact we cross the time so didi uh, we may ji you know. ha thank you thank you thank you didi thank you Yeah. Reflect on this what we talked on today, and we'll stop here for now. Continue tomorrow from here.